Students, hi. This is our third episode on hypoglycemia. Our third episode on hypoglycemia. And remember three things that a nurse must be able to do. They must be able to anticipate the patient at risk for a hypoglycemic episode so they're not taken by surprise and panic. You need to identify when the patient is having a hypoglycemic episode. Now, we have to know how to intervene, how to treat the patient. So here we go. Hypoglycemia treatment. Now, we have to divide um, the type of patient we have, two types. We have our conscious patient and our unconscious patient. Our conscious patient, unconscious patient. Basically, what we want to want to do here is get that blood sugar back up. Get that blood sugar back up and fast. Okay? Now, if they're conscious, we don't have to worry about aspiration. Okay? So, we'll choose that route. But prior to that, I want us to give us a little lesson on carbohydrates. So we're going to go up here, and we have our complex carbohydrates and our simple carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates take time. They have to be broken down. Poly they go from polysaccharides, multiple sugar, to a disaccharide, then to a monosaccharide where it can be absorbed. Okay. What we want is to bring the sugar up fast, so we want simple carbohydrates. All right. So, what we're going to want to administer are 10 to 15 grams a shot. 10 to 15 grams a shot of quick acting or simple carbohydrates. Okay, now, we may have to memorize this, we may have to memorize this, think about it. The patient's in an emergency situation. It's no time to try and figure it out or run and get a list. We should have that known. So let's try and internalize this information. All right, what do we have here? Four to six ounces of undiluted, and you have three options here, orange juice, apple juice, or a soft drink that's non-diet. Non-diet. Three options there, four to six ounces. What helps me remember, if you spell orange, O-R-A-N-G-E, six letters. Okay, orange juice, six letters, how many ounces? Six. Okay, apple is um, five letters, so that fits our criteria. There you go. Another option is eight ounces of skim milk. Skim milk, fat-free milk. Now skim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ounces. Huh. Too easy. All right. Now, other options are three to four teaspoons. Remember, a teaspoon is the smaller one. Five uh, teaspoon is five milliliters. Three to four teaspoons of sugar. Okay. Okay. Then we have another option. Four tablespoons. Remember, a tablespoon is three times bigger than a teaspoon, don't get confused. Four tablespoons of either light or dark corn syrup or four tablespoons of jelly or jam. Next, five to six pieces of hard candy. About five to six pieces of hard candy. Lastly, we got two here. Two to three glucose tablets, and remember these glucose tablets are specifically designed for the patient going through a hypoglycemic episode. You also have 15 grams of glucose gel that you can give. Alright, let's repeat that because we've got to have this down. We've got to have it memorized just about. Four to six ounces of undiluted orange juice or apple juice or a soft drink that's non-diet. Eight ounces of skim milk. Three to four teaspoons of sugar. Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of either corn syrup or jelly jam. Five to six pieces of hard candy. Two to three glucose tablets. Or 15 grams of glucose gel. That's our treatment for the conscious patient. But hold on. We're still with the conscious patient. What I have here is, we may have to repeat the 10 to 15 grams every 15 or 30 minutes. Every 15 or 30 minutes. Until we reach a goal. And what is that goal? 
The blood sugar be at 70 milligrams a deciliter for the adult. 70 milligrams per deciliter for the adult, or 80 to 100 milligrams per deciliter for the child or the elderly. Okay? So we may have to repeat this. Now, what if our patient is unconscious? We can't do this, so aspirate. All right, so here we have it. For the unconscious patient, we can use injectable glucagon. Injectable glucagon. One milligram sub-Q or IM. One milligram sub-Q or IM. Now, for the RN or the doctor, they can administer IV intravenous dextrose. And it comes in a 50 milliliter syringe, rather big. And it's at 50% strength. That's 50 milliliters at 50% strength of dextrose. Very effective and very quick. I want you to remember something here. All diabetics on insulin should have glucagon on hand. All diabetics on insulin should have glucagon on hand. Okay? Now, um, back to the unconscious patient. Supposing they have a recovery, we're happy for them, but once they recover, we will give them some glucose, some simple, quick-acting carbohydrate, or if the next meal time is greater than one hour, if it's going to be at least an hour or more before the next meal time, we have to concern ourselves that their blood sugar may go back down again. So what will we do? Well, we're going to give them a complex carbohydrate. Remember, we talked about a complex carbohydrate there. And a protein. An example would be cheese or meat with crackers. Okay? So, for the unconscious in the recovery phase, uh, give them some glucose, quick acting, or if the next meal is greater than one hour, we'll go ahead and give them a complex carbohydrate and a protein. All right, now, let's come over here and again look at our target, what we're aiming for. What we're aiming for, our target for the adult is 70, all right? 70 milligrams per deciliter. That's what we're looking for. For the child or the elderly, 80 to 100, 80 to 100 will be our target. Okay, now, again, students, managing a hypoglycemic episode can be a very easy thing for you and for the patient as long as you know how to approach the situation. Thank you very much for listening.